Today I'm going to show you Google Read and Write for PDF, which is an amazing tool to annotate and highlight a PDF that the teacher gives you. And you can use it on any device. The one thing you have to make sure of is that you're signed into your Google Chrome and that you have um, authorized PDF, and you can certainly uh, send me a message if you need help doing that. So once you've done that and you see Google Read and Write shows up here and your PDF reader shows up here, when you go to a PDF that's in your Google Drive, you're going to right click and go open with Read and Write for Google Chrome. This has amazing features, necessary for some and good for all. And the ones I'm gonna show you right now are more about annotating. Um, certainly the great thing about Google Read and Write is you can highlight text and play it and you can listen to it. Um, it also has vocabulary features and whatnot. But for this particular video, I'm going to show you how to use it to do a close annotation of a passage that your teacher has given you or a way to, um, to take notes. Okay, so I'm in a PDF. It didn't look like, it doesn't look like I'm in a PDF, does it? So I'm gonna do that again. I can do another way. I can go uh, click on the PDF and then go open with, again, you're looking for read and write for Google Chrome as long as it's been authorized. All right, so then it's gonna bring me to my PDF and you're gonna notice that on the in the top, there is a toolbar with things that you can do. So ideally, if your teacher is saying do a close annotation, you're going to use the highlighting tool. So you're going to highlight maybe the thesis it might be in pink. And then all of the supporting details might be in blue. Okay, or methods of proof or whatever it is that your teacher is asking you to do in any subject. So you're annotating, I'm sorry, you're highlighting using that tool. If you made a mistake, you're going to go over the highlight and you're just going to clear the highlights. There's also a tool here called Collect Highlights where only the things you've highlighted will uh, generate a new Google document in your Google Drive. Um, you're welcome to uh, play with that. And the other thing that's really important here is you might want to uh, hit the T for typewriter and begin to take a note, uh, which you want to add here. Or if this is a worksheet, um, you would fill out answers using this. Okay, um, you can use predictive text uh, by clicking on this. You can use talk to type. Um, you can increase or decrease the font size. Um, you can also change the color um, and then, or you could delete it if you made a mistake. If you need to move it, you use this drag and drop and you move it to where you want to move it on your text and you go check mark because it's done. Um, the other really cool tool is called Pushpin. This is if you have more information. So your teacher is saying, you know, write a paragraph about this. You can hit the Pushpin, write your info here. Again, you're going to use all those tools, make it whatever color you want. And when you go, okay, it's now not going to be a text box. It's going to be hidden under this push pin. When your teacher sees this, she will know, or he will know that there's more information here. Or if you're just using this for your own note taking, when you click on it, you will know that there's information there as well. Um, you can also use a uh, drawing tools. So if you prefer to underline things by yourself, um, change the color, change the thickness, or erase it. Okay. Um, you might use this if you were going to go, you know, um, freehand drawing, you were going to do maybe not so big. Um, uh, some sort of a, an image, uh, whatever the case may be. That is silly, but you know what I mean. Um, and then you can also do a shape if you want. Um, you can draw a rectangle and then you can uh, fill it or not fill it if you wanna emphasize something for your teacher. Um, you can also highlight it if you want. Um, again, just to, um, to give extra emphasis. Oh, it doesn't look like I can do it in there. So once it's in a, a box, you can't actually do it. But um, these are all the annotation tools that are available to you. Now, there's nothing to download. Uh, you can download it if you want. Um, 
But the reality is when I go back out, like anything in Google, right, and I look at the original PDF, I, it's not changed. And you might be worried that it hasn't um, saved any of your stuff. So, but I would do the same thing. I would right click it when I go back in there and your teacher would do this when she's accessing your stuff, if it's shared with her. And when you go open with read and write for Google Chrome, if all is right with the world, you will see your annotations in there. I'll just give it a second to think. It's just processing. I can refresh it if I want. The other thing I want you to note is that there are tools here at the bottom, um, like rotation tools, printing, downloading. Um, and if you give it a second, see, everything that you've done is saved here when you open it with Google Read and Write. So that is probably the best tool that you can use to annotate PDFs in Google Drive.